What is up guys, welcome to a new video. Before we get into anything, I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting me. We have officially crossed 1,000 subscribers and I am now a YouTube partner and it's all thanks to you guys. Ever since we crossed 100 subscribers back at the end of April, Everything has just been snowballing and growing exponentially fast and it's honestly been super mind blowing to me. I'm so happy that we finally made this milestone of becoming a YouTube partner and I honestly can't wait to see what happens with this channel over the next year. Also comment down below if you'd like me to make a video on how I grew my channel from zero subscribers all the way to a thousand and also any other questions that you would have related to that video. So with that, let's talk about how I quit my job and what that means for this channel. So if you saw my last video, then you probably saw that I quit my job, which means I am now a full-time content creator and streamer. So that means more YouTube videos and streams for you guys on a more consistent basis. I am so incredibly excited to be spending all of my waking hours making content for you guys instead of having to split it with a full-time job that I was miserable in. Now, speaking of, I have been asked a handful of times now in my last couple of streams how exactly I was able to quit my job and go full time with content creation, but I think I'm going to make a more detailed video about this further down the road. But in short, I was able to save up enough money to cover all of my living expenses for the next entire year. Now, I wanna say up front that I would not recommend this strategy for the majority of people. The safest bet that most people should still take is to be earning enough income on a consistent basis from content creation to cover all of your living expenses before you even think about quitting your job. Now, in my case though, I was in a bit of a different situation where I was so incredibly miserable for my job where it just made sense for me to jump a little early just for the sake of my own mental health. Now that said though, I didn't just up and quit my job without thinking of any of the consequences. Even with a full year of expenses covered, I probably wouldn't have quit my job if it weren't for the fact that over the last handful of months, We've been seeing legitimate, consistent growth across my platforms. And so I think with those two things combined and given my situation of how much I disliked my job, I felt like it was a risk that I just had to take. But like I said, I will likely make an entire video dedicated to this in more detail of how I was able to save up enough money to quit my job and all of my thoughts behind it and the timing and all that good stuff. Also, I'm sure there are some of you who are wondering what happened to my whole quit my job on October 10th date that I set out at the beginning of series two? Well, the truth is that my company that I was working for was bought out by a big Fortune 500 company and my position was about to become a lot more chaotic and the last thing that I wanted in my life was to have a job that I already disliked become even more chaotic while trying to juggle content creation and it just would have been a mess and I already had enough money saved up for an entire year. So as much as I wanted to wait until October, I decided to work as long as I could with my old company right up until the point where they officially were acquired. And then at that point, we mutually parted ways and I decided to do this full time now. So with all of that said, we are now officially starting series three here on this YouTube channel where we are going to be following the next season of my life, trying to grow enough to where I can continue to do this full time for you guys. Like I said, that means more videos, more streams for you guys on a more consistent basis. And I'm so incredibly excited to just get into the rhythm of making so much content for you. In series two, I was a little over ambitious with my goals of how much content I was going to be able to produce for you while working a full-time job. So for series three, I'm going to do a very similar strategy now that I actually have the proper amount of time to create a lot of content for you. So right now my plan is to roughly post one YouTube video a week, stream about three to four times a week over on Twitch, and begin to ramp up my content on Twitter and Instagram as well. Now during my last series, I put a lot of time and effort into becoming a better streamer and entertainer but I'm still not anywhere near where I wanna be at. So for series three, my main goal is to still become an even better streamer and entertainer. And I want to continue to really, really focus on that because I genuinely feel like if I want to continue to bring you guys streaming tips and advice, 
then I should be the best streamer that I could possibly be. Another thing during series three that I want to continue to grow is my gaming content. Gaming is why I started all of this in the first place because it is my huge passion in life and I want to start to find even more ways to begin to incorporate it more outside of just streaming. Now that said, there are still going to be plenty of tech and streaming tips videos coming out for you guys soon. And I also do want to start to vlog a lot more where it's just going to be kind of going back to my older style of vlogs where it's a little more casual to continue to bring you guys along through this journey with me so you can learn from my mistakes, see what I'm doing right, see where I'm struggling, and we can all grow together. So that is going to wrap up this video. I again want to thank you guys so much for helping this channel grow to a thousand subscribers. It's been absolutely crazy. And again, be sure to comment down below what types of videos you want to see from me going forward in series three. And with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.